school is officially out for summer, which means that families everywhere, and I mean everywhere, are headed to the Universal Orlando Resort for their summer vacation. But before you do that, you need to know what's going on in the parks this month. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're headed to the parks in the month of June. Universal does have some summer extras coming our way this month. The Summer Tribute Store officially opened today, the day that we're recording this, and it's filled with all kinds of merchandise and goodies themed to classic movies like Jaws, E.T., and Back to the Future. They also have some summer food trucks that are hanging out in Universal Studios. One of those that had the Nashville hot food items was open on our latest oh, trip yeah. in May, but there was another one in the New York area that wasn't open yet, so we're excited to see what they have as well. Universal also announced that their Superstar Parade will be ending on June 4th to make way for new entertainment experiences. So if you're hoping to catch the parade, that will be the last day to do so. And speaking of good things coming to an end, Universal Monsters fans were devastated to find out that the Monsters Cafe in Universal Studios suddenly closed without any warning last month. But we do have some good news. You do still have one last chance to hang out and eat at the Monsters Cafe this month, and that's at the Orlando Informer meetup. We had seen some rumors floating around that the cafe would still be open for the June 3rd and June 4th Orlando Informer meetup, so naturally we had to tweet at them just to see if they could confirm or deny this, and they were able to get back to us and tell us that it was indeed going to be open for both nights of the June meetup. If you're sitting there with a question mark above your head wondering what an Orlando Informer meetup is, Orlando Informer is a company that rents out the parks a few times throughout the year and sells a limited number of tickets to their event. These tickets do include unlimited food and non-alcoholic drinks, so if you're looking to have one last hoorah at the Monsters Cafe, they do still have some tickets available for that Friday night. We'll go ahead and link their website in the description down below just in case you're interested. You're probably curious about the crowd levels, and you can expect it to be fairly busy this month. Schools are out for summer break, which means we're gonna see an influx of people visiting on their summer vacation. From everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and according to the predictions, June 20th is when we really start to see these crowd levels ramp up. This is when the parks go from busy to very busy. So if you're visiting, especially during those last two weeks, prepare yourself for some relatively high weight. And now it's time for everybody's favorite segment of the monthly preview. Will it float? <laughs> it's time for me to attempt to simplify the park hours this month. You're not fun. <laughs> Both Universal Studios and it Islands of Adventure <laughs> open at 9 a.m. for the entirety of June, while Volcano Bay opens at 10. When we're looking at park close, both of the theme parks close between 9 and 10 all month, except for five nights. During the Orlando and former meetups, one of the parks does close early each night. So on Friday the 3rd, Islands of Adventure closes at 8 p.m. And then on Saturday the 4th, Universal Studios closes at 8 p.m. Islands of Adventure also closes early on the next two Wednesdays of the month. So on the 8th, it closes at 6 p.m. And then on the 15th, it closes at 8 p.m. And the last exception is for Universal Studios on Tuesday the 21st. That park does close at 7 that night. As far as the water park goes, it alternates closing between 7 and 8 at night. So on weekdays, it does close at 7, and then on Saturdays and Sundays, it closes at 8 p.m. Volcano Bay also has early park admission starting an hour before the parks open to daytime guests for the entire month. So that's going to be at 9 in the morning. And for the last several months, early park at Volcano Bay has been 30 minutes prior to park open. So it is nice to see them extend those early park hours as the crowd levels start to increase. Over at the two theme parks, Islands of Adventure has early park admission all month long, which is gonna be at eight in the morning. And then from June 13th on, we also have early park over at Universal Studios, and that'll be starting at the same time. If you have an annual pass, you do have some block out dates to worry about this month, but the only park that's being blocked out is Volcano Bay. If you just have a two park annual pass, then you're in the clear. However, if you have a three park power or seasonal pass, you will be blocked out from the water park from June 11th all the way to the middle of August. So if those block up dates do affect you, you'll just have to get your fill of the water rides over in Islands of Adventure. 
Unfortunately, we do have a few ride closures to talk about this month. Both Kara Susol and Revenge of the Mummy are still shut down for refurbishments, yep. but they have pushed back the construction walls at Revenge of the Mummy, revealing some of the work that they've been done, which is really nice to see. We're highly anticipating the Mummy's return, so it's nice to feel like they're the making the <laughs> they're making progress on that attraction. But the biggest ride closure to talk about this month is the Hogwarts Express. The train will be shut down from June 9th through the 18th for some maintenance. So if you're visiting the parks during that week and a half, you will have to walk back and forth between Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. We're slightly hopeful that they open up the shortcut between the two parks to allow guests to like walk back and forth without having to go all the way to the front of the parks, but we wouldn't get our hopes up. And last but not least, we finally have some Halloween Horror Nights announcements. Universal officially released Single Night Express Pass tickets for this year's event. And judging by the number of comments that we've gotten about these passes, it seems like they have been highly anticipated. Thankfully, none of the nights have sold out yet. But one thing to keep in mind with the Express Passes is that the prices do get more expensive as more people purchase them. So if you know that you're going to need an Express Pass for a specific night at this year's event, we would suggest that you go ahead and purchase those. We also have our first house announcement of the season. Universal Monsters Legends Collide is said to be an epic battle between the Mummy, Dracula, and Wolfman. <laughs> this is the third year in a row where we've had a Universal Monsters house, and judging by the previous two, I'm really excited to see this one. Yeah, and this house announcement was for both Universal Orlando and Universal Hollywood. Uh, and we're trying to get out to Universal Hollywood's event this year, so we're really excited about the possibility of comparing those two houses. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let Anna's mom know that we should be allowed to ditch family pictures so that we can go to the OI meetup. No. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Yes. <laughs>